Hey everyone, Carlin Baith here from Fox Sports West, and joining me is Angels pitcher Ty Butchery. Ty, welcome to the first Angels mailbag. How you doing, man? <laughs> I'm doing great. Thanks for having me on. Um, yeah, this is a uh, this is cool that I get to come on and answer a bunch of fan questions, and I appreciate you guys putting this together. Well, the fans were really excited. They had a lot of great questions for you. And I got a couple here to warm you up, though. And I know you've been participating in MLB The Show and, yep. and kind of playing online and streaming. <laughs> and, and how are you doing with that? You doing okay over there? <laughs> What's going on, man? So, yeah, that's a – am I doing okay? I'm doing great. <laughs> okay. I'm mentally, I'm hanging in there. Um I think every loss that I have on MLB this, this MLB the show tournament, it honestly feels worse than like when I blow a save in a real game. Oh um, gosh. No, I'm just kidding. But it's just it's just like it's intense because it's a video game. Yeah. And like you try not to take it seriously. Yeah. But then when, when you start playing against other guys throughout the MLB, it's like I, I can't help it. Like competitiveness just comes For out. Sure. Yeah. And next thing you know, like I'm like, crap, I actually I just lost four games. What? Like I, <laughs> losing four games sucks. And then it's like I go back and I train with this guy and I lose another four games. And yeah. I'm like, okay, like what's going on here? Like, I mean, what, what do I have to do? And then, so basically I just was like, all right, at this point I'm one in nine, like, let's just have some fun with it. Yeah. And then I went out and started like putting it on like some of the top guys, like Amir Garrett, Jeff McNeil. I almost beat Gavin Lux. Yeah. Um, but all the guys that are like one in 13, two in 10, they, they're killing me. So I can't beat, the, I can't beat the bad guys, but I can beat the good ones. Goodness, he's like oh man whining um so he's in our conversation huh. now so here we are what's his, what's his name this is wally um he wally. literally was just like wanting to come up and um we're here this is this is you know what happens in a live <laughs> interview up, anyway <laughs> um so now that we've got wally here we've got some fan questions we want to get to and instagram was where it's at it was popping and we're going to start with little ruby she wanted to know what your favorite baseball memory is Favorite baseball memory yeah. uh, would have to be, uh, I, I mean, yeah, obviously it was getting called up. Um, you know, getting called up was my whole entire, you know, that was my dream since I was five years old. I mean, I always knew that, you know, it was, I always believed in myself and, you know, not once did I ever think I wasn't um, going to make it. But also, you know, another another moment was just, you know, being, being up last year and, you know, being, a, being at my rookie season, and just being able to start a major league season and finish at that time, I really felt like I could definitely have a long career in this game as long as I continue to work hard. And that was that, that was kind of a cool moment that came true. We got another question here from Manny Forty One John, and you kind of answered this already, but this one's more specific. So it's favorite memory in Anaheim, on or mm -hmm. off the field. So if you have a different oh, one, then yeah, I mean my were... favorite my favorite memory. Well, you know, it's not sad. It was, it's obviously for a very sad reason, but mm -hmm. the most, you know, the, the thing that sticks out the most in my heart would have to be the no hitter that, um, you know, Taylor Cole and yeah. Felix Pena threw and, you know, all the guys that participate on that day. I've never been, I'm, I'm not one to be very emotional. I, I never really cry in big like situations. And honestly, like I, I, I didn't really even get to know Tyler as long as everybody else did. And yeah. to me, like, I just couldn't help it. It was one of the saddest things, but one of the most like, you know, joyful moments because, you know, we felt like he was there pitching with us. And I mean, everybody, you know, laying down our jerseys on the mound and it's the way the game worked out. It was honestly one of the most um, intense, passionate things that I've ever been a part of. More of a lighthearted question here. We've got James Christian, 82, and he wants to know what your favorite baseball movie is. James Christian, 82. Mm -hmm. Great question. Um, Favorite baseball movie is probably just going to be The Rookie. My dad uh, my dad and I watched that movie growing up. Yeah. And I watched that movie as a, as a young kid. I was like, yeah. dude, this guy's the man. Like, he's, he's, he's a nobody. He's coming back throwing gas. He's working hard. Yep. He's this old man going out, you know, showing these young kids up. And then, like, I don't know. I haven't. I, I can't even tell you the last Dennis Quaid movie I watched. But I guess I'm a Dennis Quaid fan. There you go. Thank you so much for doing this interview. We appreciate you coming on, and uh, we'll be tuning in to MLB The Show and see and see what oh, the, the rest you. of the series look like. We're rooting for you, man. 
Thank you, Carolyn. Appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks for having me on. I'm going to I'm gonna do my best. I'm going to go hit some jacks right now against my buddy. He's going to throw me some BP. We're going to work on the up and in fastball. I'm going to work on the change up down and in. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I got some work to do. But anyways, thank you for having me. And, uh, yeah, thanks for – and thank you for all the fans that you guys, you know, ask those questions. I appreciate you guys taking the time to do that. For sure. Thanks for coming on Angels Mailbag, Ty.